Hello, beautiful souls, and you are a powerful, powerful healer. Every single person that you come in contact with, you have the ability to change the lens through which they see life. That is a beautiful, beautiful gift to possess, and that is not something to take lightly. Because you can choose to be a totally different type of energy, based upon the things that you have experienced. And because you have this heart of gold, because you simply seek to love and uplift, you're going to be replenished. Anything that you need, it's almost as if your spiritual team is asking you to maybe even write out a list of anything that you need. Hey, for some of you, you may say, look, I just need the energy to be able to do the things that I need to do. But anything that you feel like has been kind of pulled from you in a sense, it's being returned to you, Divine Feminine. It is yours. The end, the minute that you understand that, the minute that you understand that nobody can kind of take anything from you, because for some of you, you really feel that. You feel like you have not been yourself since you encountered certain situations. And I feel like as this year is kind of closing out, it's like your spiritual team wants you to walk into 2023 feeling whole. Though this is maybe a message to change your perspective, to let you know that every single aspect of yourself you have access to. The minute that you understand that you have access to it. So if there's any area of your life that you have been giving your power away to anyone for any reason, now it's time to call your power back. Though because you're about to align with certain people, places, and things within these next couple of months going into the new year, where you are going to be changing and shifting not only your own reality, but the realities of other people simply by existing. That is how powerful you are, Divine Feminine. So, if there's anything that you need at this time, it's time for you to get very clear, and it's time for you to ask for it. Because you are such an important vessel in this time, in this physical realm right now. Don't ever doubt that for a second. It is such a gift, and it is such a sacred gift to be a light in this world, because everything we know, everything is not love and light. There is some heavy, heavy darkness on this planet, and no one is exempt from that. But what's key here is that in order for you to really bask in this light, and this love, and to align with what it is that God has for you, I mean your birthrights, you had to make a conscious choice that, no matter whatever it is that you encountered on your journey, you still were going to shine your light. And because of this, you are being rewarded. So, if you are at this place in your life where you're kind of wondering or trying to figure out what it was that you were going through or why you had to encounter these certain types of people, for some of you, you know you've been through some tumultuous relationships. And a lot of these lower energies have attached themselves to people that you really, really loved. Yes, <laughs> if you believe in God. God bless you. Hey. My beloved love, and you have seen the lowest of some people, and you have still tried to love them anyway. Your understanding that everyone is kind of doing the best with the information that they have, and so you've taken your dignity. You've taken your respect, and you've moved on to a next stage in your life. A lot of you are encountering different types of energies every single day, and have no idea that you are operating on a totally different timeline. But because you see them in your physical reality, you're thinking that you're at the same place at the same time. You are light years ahead in terms of your mind, in terms of your heart, in terms of your awareness. Though they, and everyone on their journey, is going at their own pace. Though it's imperative for you to kind of have grace, for you to move on gracefully, and to send love and light, you know, to people as they're navigating their own personal journey, but to not let it deter you from where God has you going. Okay, you have a powerful healing spirit, and you have to understand that you will attract people who get you, who understand that, who understand what it means to be that type of light in the world. You were attached to people, 
or people will attach to you rather, that just want to experience you, that can see your heart from a mile away, that can see your light from a mile away, and not even understand what it is about you, because your true power lies within. So, if you're at this place, Divine Feminine, where you've been feeling kind of depleted, your energy may be kind of low here. Call back your power to you from all timelines, from all spaces, from all dimensions, from all relationships, from all people, from every single encounter that you've had. Then call back your power and make sure you call it back cleansed and whole and full of radiance and full of vitality, so that you can go out and be the powerful light, the powerful healer that you are. You are an incredible source of energy and your energy is really the most powerful thing that you possess. They understand that anyone that you come in contact with, it's not by accident. And so whether this situation is a harmonious situation or a tumultuous situation, it's always teaching you something about yourself. But your energy is the most powerful, and it's so sacred. So make sure that you guard it with your heart and understand that everybody should not have access to you in this way. Okay, so this is a very, very powerful time. The universe is literally sending you so many signs at this time. A lot of you are receiving dreams. A lot of you are receiving visions at this time that's kind of helping you move towards where it is that you are supposed to be on your journey. Because as these couple of months pass and as the new year comes, you're literally going to be aligning with people who match your vibration. And so, it's important at this time right now to understand that anything that you went through has kind of helped shape you, has kind of helped shape and mold you into your most powerful version. From Divine Muscular Type Yes If You Believe